Hey guys, I am in the process of about to change this fabric here so that it flows a little better with the image color wise. Um, you know, you can try and make a change if you look at this using your dropper tool, it's gonna pick the reds. But if you look at this image, there's a lot of reds. So if we try to isolate that change, it's actually gonna change pretty much everything. Um, so then you might say, well, I'll just manually select it. And when we do that, it just takes, oops, let's make sure we're on the plus here. It's gonna go over certain areas. Actually, we don't wanna select her, we're selecting the red. And you're just gonna see that it's gonna pick up certain areas and it's gonna make um, this a little more laborious than it needs to be. So you could do this and make your changes, but then if you zoom in, you can see that the selection's not perfect. It's definitely gonna leave certain reds out, for instance, right there. And you would have to go in and manually click, click, or, or paint that in. So another um, way to make this easier is through color select. So we could go select color range. And the first thing you're gonna see when you drag this out here is this eyedropper tool. If you if you select it, it's picking up that color. Now you can, you can add to that selection um, and you can remove from that selection by using these and I'll show you in a minute. So here with the fuzziness, it's it's basically tolerance. It says, how far can I go out to make this selection? How far is too far? So we can go to, as you can see, the further out we go, the more it picks up in the image. So we go down a little bit and you see there's maybe a little bit we have to clean up. You can also hit this plus tool where you see that it's kind of shadowing in certain areas where it indicates it's not gonna make a full selection. And you can add to it, but be careful because that can also add other parts of the image to it. I'm not too worried about this area here because that's not where all the detail is. It's right here and here. So I'm trying to minimize how much work I have to do to make this change. I do see that parts of her face are on there. I can reduce this even more. And then just note to myself, I will more than likely have to just paint this area in. We can see what it adds. And you can see it just made some more selections over here and on her face. And that just puts us in a situation where we have to reduce again. Um, so now we've got our selection. The white means that it's selecting our um, the, the chair. And then we hit um, OK. And then we can actually hop up here and then start making those adjustments to that selection. Um, and again, if we mask it, oops, let's delete this layer mask and delete this layer mask. And let's put that mask on there. There, now we have the mask. If you start off without a mask and you just hit mask, then you're, you're saving yourself some time. Um, so now we have this selection that we've made and then we can go ahead and start making the changes that we want to make. I will likely reduce. Now you can see there were highlights in there that we didn't pick up. So if there's something that you do and you're like, man, that's a little bit on the edge. I don't really want to deal with that. You can um, redo your selection and just um, add to it. Or you can go in and then just add it here. And it looks like it's also... Um, that color okay it's I've got some sort of delay here it might be the recording software um, so you can see now finally uh, you, you can also see how many tabs I have open this is this is my life <laughs> That's, my computer is ridiculously fast but no not not when I'm using it I've got like 117 things going on at one time, all the time. That's how I function. So now you can see that um, the selection made things a lot simpler. You can go in and look for little areas that you can update, but it even selected some of the um, uh, reflections here and it got right behind her ear, around her hair. Um, so it just made life a whole lot easier. So that is a, just a quick tutorial on selecting color and making changes. I hope that helped. I hope you learned something. Um, I hope you share. If, if that helped you, comment below. And let me know if you have questions too. Um, and until next time, stay enchanted.